Hi everyone, Richard here from Mammoth Journeys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marin Kempfield ST2. So the Kempfield is part of Marin's fitness transit category and this is a hybrid bike. We're going to be looking at the specifics and some of the equipment on the bike. We're going to be looking at who this bike may be best suited for and our overall opinion on the bike. So let's get into it. So the Kempfield is designed for those short distance commutes. On their website, Marin describes the bike being used for the school runs, on bike paths, uh, and for the coffee shop runs. And that's exactly why we wanted to get it. Uh, we wanted a bike for those short distance rides, uh, which was upright and nice and comfortable. Uh, another thing that drew us to the Kempfield was just how it looks. It's just a really smart, nice looking bike. Um, so let's go through the specifics and the equipment uh, to see how it gets on. So one aspect that was really important for us was the step through frame. Uh, that allows you to get on and off the bike with ease, so you don't have to swing your leg round. Um, the whole geometry of the bike allows for a nice upright riding position, similar to your traditional Dutch bike, uh, which makes the whole thing really comfortable. Uh, other aspect and comfort which is really good is the really large comfortable saddle. It's like a lazy boy, especially in comparison to some of the uh, sort of traditional smaller saddles you get on road bikes and gravel bikes, so that was a real good plus point for us. Um, the final thing from uh, comfort is the tyres. So these are uh, 700 by 40, so that width allows you to absorb some of the bumps in the road and then on the gravel path, and that's really, really nice. The tyres are traditionally cyclocross tyres, so they're real durable. We've had one puncture in the whole two and a bit years that we've been riding it. And another thing that's really good is the fact they're pressed to valves. So this means you can fill them up at petrol stations and that most bike, bike pumps will have a press to valve. You don't have to go out and um, get an extra pump or anything specific. So that's a real good plus point. Talking about that comfort and riding position, one aspect that needs to be looked at or considered is the width of the handlebars. So these are 740 mil, which is similar to what you'd get on a traditional mountain bike. Now, once you're upright and riding, you don't notice it at all, and it makes it actually very nice. But one part, but well, one time where it does become a bit of a nuisance is if you're trying to get your bike in and out of your garage, your shed, or when you stop off at a, co a coffee shop and you're trying to park it up, it's just a bit more noticeable than your traditional bikes. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. So final point on the tyres is just the type of tread. It's got the best of both worlds, really. In the centre, it's got that smooth bit, which is really good for tarmac, and on the outside, some raised nobbles, which means if you're going on to gravel, it's going to be really good for traction. So let's talk about the gearing. So on this bike, there's only a derailleur at the back, no derailleur at the front, there's only one ring at the front. But at the back, you get this ginormous cassette with a really big top sprocket of 51 teeth. That's the equivalent of what you'd get on a mountain bike. So that means that it becomes really easy to go up hills, to get away from lights quickly, which just makes the whole experience a lot easier. Uh, it's a micro shift advent derailleur, which I hadn't heard of before, but um, it works really well, no issues with the changes, and it's really durable. So even if you hadn't heard of it, like I hadn't, don't let that put you off. It works really well and it's easy to maintain. So now let's look at the brakes. So they use a mechanical disc brakes, which work well, and we've had no issues with them at all. They do exactly what you'd hoped. Uh, the only thing that may be worth considering, perhaps to the entry level cyclist or a beginner, is that I find that they are a bit more fiddly to maintain uh, than your traditional rim brakes, which is just something to consider if you're planning to do some of your maintenance at home. Uh, nothing that you can't learn, and once you've understood how, it is easy moving forward, but just something to consider. So now let's have a look at one bit of kit you probably don't think of when you're buying a bike, and that's the pedals that it comes with. Uh, now what you normally get with uh, bikes are just really cheap, nasty, small pedals which aren't very good. Whereas what Marin have given you is these real large plates that have little raised bits on it which helps with the traction. That means that your foot sticks on the pedal a lot easier and makes the whole pedal stroke a little bit nicer and smoother. Add that on with the gearing and it pairs it really well. So something that is often neglected but they've done really well on this bike. So one thing you'd expect with bikes nowadays is that you'll be able to attach any accessories that you want onto the bike. Uh, the Kempfield has places where you can attach your mud guards, bottle cages, and even has a mount for a kickstand. So that again just adds to the practicality and comfort of the whole experience, which is a real nice touch. So who's this bike for? So I think there's going to be into two groups. The first group is going to be the people that are just getting into cycling, want a nice, reliable, comfortable, entry-level bike that they can use for those short distances around town. And the second group of those people that want the bike for the same reason, but they already have a gravel and a road bike, but want something that's going to be a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable for doing those distances on. Uh, so those two groups of people, I think, would be you know, a good choice of looking at the uh, Kempfield. 
So overall, we've really enjoyed the Kempfield. Uh, it's a real easy bike to ride. If you're looking for that short distance tarmac commuter for going around town, it's a really good option. Uh, it is fun, it's comfortable, and it's easy to ride. And that's ultimately what you're looking for from a bike. Uh, there's two other models within Marin that might be worth the consideration as well. So one is the Lark Spur, which is a steel frame step through. Um, it looks amazing. Uh, it is a bit more expensive, I think it's £150 more, uh, but a uh, similar kit on it, but just looks a little bit different. The other option is the Stinson, which has, uh, again, similar kit. It's a step through frame, has slightly narrower handlebars, so maybe a bit more practical, and priced about the same as the uh, Kempfield. Uh, so a couple of options there if perhaps this one isn't the right one for you. Um, so yeah, that's our experience with it. I'll be interested to know if anyone else has a similar or maybe a different experience. And if you've got any questions that I've not gone through, put them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. If you've liked the video, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and you get to see more of our product reviews, more of our bike reviews. Uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll speak to you soon.